humanity have achieved remarkable feats. But as we increase our standard of living, we are also pollute our very hope in the process. Introducing the term planetary health, it refers to not only the health of humans, but also the health of the ecosystem and the very planet we live on. Because at the end of the day, we depend on each other. We have to acknowledge that our health is intrinsically linked to the planet's health. Dramatic shifts in temperature and the destruction of natural habitats have increased the risk of zoonotic diseases and the re-emergence of ancient diseases. For example, in 2016, a 12-year-old child died and 20 people were impacted by anthrax in a remote part of Siberia where a heat wave had torn permafrost soil, exposing the corpse of a reindeer which had died 75 years earlier from the disease. Climate change also leads to unpredictable water availability and contamination of water supplies vital for our well-being. So, our lifestyle and how we treat our food is not sustainable and we are putting the future generation at risk if we continue a blind eye to this problem. A sustainable future is possible, but only if we can make a significant changes in the way we provide food, water, energy and other resources. One of the main drives of climate change is carbon emissions. By adding more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, we are supercharging the natural greenhouse effect, causing the global temperature to rise significantly since the Industrial Revolution. That's why scientists are looking at the carbon capture as a viable solution. Carbon capture involves trapping the carbon dioxide as its emission source, transporting it to a storage location and isolating it. This means we could potentially block excessive O2 from entering our atmosphere which is critical if we are to avoid the worst impact of climate change. Aside from that, we can also improve our lifestyle by redesigning our cities. Nowadays, a lot of buildings are built too far apart, separated by lawns, landscaping, roads or parking lots. Moreover, single-family houses consume larger lands. This development pattern is known as sprawl. Sprawl development causes people to rely on automobiles as they need to travel further, which causes more greenhouse gases to be emitted and further pollute the air. Imagine living in a city where most of the means of transportation are walking or biking. It seems impossible, but take Amsterdam as an example where the buildings are built close together and only 90% use cars. Moreover, we could also increase the planting of trees on sidewalks to reduce CO2 and help restore our planet's health. Conclusively, we need to take progressive action now in creating a sustainable living for us and future generations to come.